I should have done this a who knows how much longer ago. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are on Zoom. Yes, uh, my first Zoom call. I should have done this a who knows how much longer ago. And we are right here in touch with Andy Saurer. Andy is uh, the president or the, uh, co and the co-founder of SubSwiss, uh, something that came up through the media uh, recently. Uh, Switzerland kind of setting the example of showing how the Surfing Federation or the Surfing Association in that uh, respect uh, works with a canoe federation and merging or, or giving birth, so to speak, to the um, SUP Swiss, so uh, a SUP association under the patronage of, of both associations, surfing and canoe. Andy, tell us a little bit, uh, how, how did that come about? The Canoe Federation and Surfing Federation in Switzerland um, agreed a long time ago together not to uh, fight each other. So in Switzerland, it's quite small and they agreed uh, they're each going to focus on a different part of the SUP sport. Yeah. So um, at one point, um, we had an association uh, organizing the Swiss Championship. Uh, those guys uh, decided not to continue their federation. So um, we kind of decided to pitch in and we tried to talk to both of them and they immediately agreed to have this, um, all this energy trying yeah. to focus on the same thing. So we launched um, Soup Swiss um, to organize a Swiss championship and to bring uh, our athletes to the world championships. So you guys kind of like now have an official qualification process that uh, allows to get, um, find the talent for people to go to and who's whatever um, world championship it is, it will matter then if, if the ISA is holding uh, a world championship this year, it will be then the same team that would be uh, going to the ICF, uh, uh, hopefully in Hungary. So, so that's kind of like your main focus is this. Yeah, exactly. We, we're trying to build a, a national team with different levels. Like, we'd like to have some juniors as well to start developing them and yeah. get a bigger team over time. And then, so an athlete doesn't have to decide necessarily which association he wants to be affiliated with. Um, he can look at the event and say, okay, that's that event suits me and I want to compete there or even yeah. both. Um, yeah, that's the goal. So how is it structured? Let's say I'm already a member of the Canoe Federation and I want to come to your Swiss. Uh, I want to be part of Sub Swiss. Do I have to sign up individually one more time or do you automatically bring those members in? Um, we're working on the exact details, but it's it's intended to be like you're going to be a member of Sub Swiss, and with your membership, you can have a membership in the Canoe Federation and in the Surfing Association. Okay. Um, you're still a member in those um, associations or federations to, in order, compete at their uh, international event. Yeah, yeah, okay. Makes sense. Um, how about, are you guys also going to be holding like a surfing a sub surfing championships. Um, is that going to be part of it? Um, so I'm in the in the steering committee of SUP in the Canoe Federation and in the board of the Surfing Federation. So I'm gonna organize a surfing Swiss championship. I'm not sure which um, association we're gonna put it under. Sure. either in, in the surfing association or sub Swiss, but it's sure a topic to, we don't have a scene in Switzerland, so we have to go to Spain or yeah. somewhere. Yeah. We have a surfing competition and maybe a technical race with some waves. And yeah, even, I mean, starting in downwinding could be a possible topic too. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think in the past, if I'm not mistaken, we've seen SUP, uh, was integrated in the Swiss Surfing Championships uh, in, in the Basque Country. 
Um, in Germany, they kind of did their own thing outside from the German Surfing uh, uh, Association. But, but yeah, nothing but makes sense to, to bring that in while you're already holding, holding a contest. You just run a few uh, more heats uh, with guys on stand-ups. Uh, it makes perfect sense. Um, I know this is another topic. I know you're not 100% involved in there, but we understand that the, the, the tour that there was now, um, the Swiss SCP tour is now 100% in the hands of the Canoe Federation. Is, is that right? Yeah. As far as I'm informed as well, yeah. All right. Well, and we, we've, we've seen uh, a trend, I think, over the, the last few months that there are a lot of canoe paddlers, or actually already last year, people that are really strong, particularly in Eastern Europe, are now emerging into SUP paddling and uh, continue to be a very strong force. And, and we expect to see more of that. You see similar uh, trends in Switzerland now with, with, with the Canoe Federation that these guys are paddling machines already. They win maybe more races also by standing up. Um, I hope so. Um, I see for myself. Myself, I started with dragon boating. It's it's paddling, but it yeah. has nothing to do with waves or anything. Yeah. So I I got fast in the flat water myself quite easily, but everything related to moving water in the waves and I couldn't really figure out until I went to Australia for a couple of months or yeah. almost a year. Um, and then, yeah, it's a different, I mean, you can paddle quite easy on flat water, but until you figure it out in moving water, like in waves, downwind and everything, it takes some time. It's hard. So I, I see fit for all the flat water stuff uh, to combine it with um, all those canoe guys. And yeah. they, they're going to get fast in and flat water really easy, but the topic is going to be the conversion onto the ocean. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I think I will see to continue to have uh, paddle races on flat water as well. Uh, ocean races, there will be definitely a mix. We will definitely continue to see technical races. Um, of course, my assumption would be that if we have uh, like a world championship, like it's say for which we're going to go on a lake with the canoe guys uh, here, that's going to be a sit that there's no, there, you know, how are you going to hold a technical race if there's no waves? So that's going to be a flat water. And then you probably, when you go with the surfing federation with, with ISA, I want to say, uh, then you have more of the waves because they're also holding a surfing competition as well as part of their, as part of their whole, whole week there. One thing that I, uh, uh, last thing that comes up maybe is now because canoe is an Olympic sport and we know, and, and surfing has become Olympic now, we see how much resources these sports are getting uh, monetary wise and with training facilities. Um, do you think now that Soap Swiss as a non-Olympic sport, but under the patronage of, of a canoe and the surfing association, do you see any kind of advantages in this respect uh, moving into the sport for you guys? Like as far as like training and uh, uh, training, etc., cetera, that, that you can, 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 can benefit of those two Olympic sports already? That would be really nice if you could so. So we're on a really early stage of our new association. We just founded it in the end of 22, uh, 2020 um, to figure out all this funding stuff. It's yeah. going to need some work. Um, I mean, I sure hope uh, we can be um, join this wagon onto the Olympic stuff and benefit of it. Um, I'm sure the whole sport would benefit uh, from getting surfing Olympic and yeah yeah well, i'm open to the future yeah and from of course and from what we hear like the, the french surfing association is putting a lot of effort into bringing sop to paris uh, because they do have a lot of metal contenders there and uh so for them it would be a very a beneficiary for their metal count if they had scp uh, in the olympics in 2024 so we can only hope that maybe uh maybe that is uh, going to steer in this direction the efforts for sure are there so yeah, very cool. This is my first Zoom meeting. I think we're gonna conclude it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching and being part of this.
Uh, this is super cool. And I think maybe we'll, we'll continue to do that because again, the monologues out on the table are getting a little boring after a while. Um, so who knows, maybe we we'll, can do some more Zoom meetings first time here. Thank you so much, Andy, uh, for taking your time. We're super stoked in it. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Aloha. Cheehoo.